Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can send a timeline in Visio into project to create a project plan. So first of all, I have the timeline template open. I'm going to create a quick timeline so you can see how it works. So I'll just drag that on there. I'm going to leave the defaults as they are. Click OK. I'm going to do a few milestones and, and phases. So if I bring, if I use these squirrely, uh, square brackets or curly brackets, I was going to say squirrely brackets and combine the two. Go for square, drop it on there, give it a name because I'll need a name for project. So I'll call it phase one. Leave the time frame as that and then just bring another one on. Call it phase two. Phase two. OK, and just do one more, call that phase three. Phase three. So that's my timeline. That's all I want to do. I'll put a little arrow head on it. I always like that on there on the end. Arrow head end. So you can see it like that. Obviously, you do the rest of your tasks there. You can you can play around with this. But if I just highlight this timeline, on the tab that says timeline across the top of the ribbon there you've got a timeline tab you've got export data if you click on that it will export the selected timeline so i've selected too much there so click on the timeline export that to a project file it's going in documents i'm going to call it steve so i can pick it up steve project and then save that in documents as a project file. And then if I go into project, open up project, it's telling me it's been done. Open up project. And then there's a project there from documents. Click on it, make it full screen so I can see it. And there, there's what it's picked up, phase one, phase two, phase three, and the duration of that. You can see that now quite clearly in the project. Once you've got it into project, you can then play around with it. I'm just going to insert a task there as a title. Call it master projects at the top there. Get rid of all that first. Master. And then I can just indent this. But it gives me a starting point. I've come from Visio. And now I've got my little starting point in project and I can create a project plan from that timeline. So that's all I want to talk about in this little short video, how you can create a project plan from a Visio timeline. So thanks for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.